Hello there, pipe smokers. Carmen Kelly Pipe Girl here. And tonight I am just doing my um, weekly cleaning of the pipes. And I thought I'd shoot a video while I started doing that. So, first of all, kudos to Night Door. I learned mainly from him on how to clean pipes and a few other videos as well, but I, I really liked his method. So, I'll be showing you some of that. So first off, what I like to use to clean with is this right here, Bacardi 151. They sell this in California, and I think this bottle was probably $23, $26, I don't know. But um, I bought this over Everclear because I figured I could drink it. Now mind you, um, before my sister came to visit, it was filled up to about here. She's been here two, three weeks, and now this is all that's left. So after I use this up, I'll probably give Everclear a try. And here in California, the strongest Everclear they have here is 150 proof, 75% alcohol. Um, some other parts of the country have the 190 proof, which you can't get here. Closest place I can get it is Arizona, so if I'm ever out of California, I'll look that up. So I'm going to fill up my little cup here. Is. And first one I clean here is my uh, Missouri Mirror from Washington. So I'm going to remove this stem here with a Q tip. Dip it here in this drum. And just run it through here. And I'm going to do the same with this part of the pipe here. That was a little more gunky there. And I'm going to take some of these pipe cleaners, put the tip of that in the alcohol, let it run down a little bit here, and I'll do the same thing here. Get all the way through this time. And that one's not so dirty. little bit dirtier there. Now what I picked up at my um, local BNM the other day is this little thing right here. It's like a little scrubby brush. Reusable. So I guess I will try that on this since it's a little more dirty than the mouthpiece. Give that a good scrubbing. Yeah, that's coming out quite brown. Another Q tip. And I'm going to turn this upside down. With cob, it doesn't really matter, but with briar, you don't want to get alcohol on the outside of the bowl because it'll ruin the finish. So I'm going to turn this upside down with my Q tip and just spread around on the inside here. Take my little scrubber thingy again and see if 
this will help loosen up some of the gunk. Now what Bob does that I really like and it really does a good job is take paper towel, fold that up. roll on it, like that, dip that in the alcohol, dip that in the pipe, and just give that a good twirl there, and it does a really good job of getting out all that dirt. That there, and I'm going to turn it around, do the same thing again. And that's coming out quite a bit cleaner. So I may go through and do that one more time, but that's basically it. And then I'll, you know, let these dry as far as the rim. What I've heard is basic, you know, just saliva rubbing it around the rim there will get rid of a lot of the gunk, the enzymes in your saliva. Saliva breaks that up. So I'm going to do that. But that's pretty much it. Um, I'll put a link to Nightdoor's video if I could find it down here in the bucket. And go through and check out his videos. He's got a lot of great tips on cleaning pipes, um, refinishing pipes really great guy so I've got four more pipes I've got to clean here and one more video to make tonight and here's my cat wanting to get in on the video and that'll be all for now good night everybody and have and God bless